Let's begin. First of all, I'd like to welcome the entire world and the world that is in front of the screen to Entanglement. Uh, we are a research lab at the RCA research group that is turning into a lab. And we look at the way in which art leads questions around science and philosophy and politics. And um, it's a pleasure and an honor to have so many people listening to this um, event. The way it's structured is following, as you many many of you may already know, is is following um, Jean-Francois Lyotard's Just Gaming. He wrote this book, uh, which outlines questions around how did we get to where we are today in the current environment? And he, he divides it into seven days. I think that we, we were doing seven days, but I think may, maybe we should have been doing seven nights. We've been playing around with avatars. Each day stroke night is going to be compressed into a mashup of four hours. You are welcome to be a part of those hours. You're welcome to leave, you're welcome to come back. You're welcome to get a drink. You're welcome to take a bath. You're welcome to do whatever you want to do while we're doing this. What we're trying to do is get across what it means to be political, to be astute, to be rigorous, and to do this via art. So, uh, so first of all, welcome. Um, I'm going to just give you the general breakdown so everyone has a sense of the timing. Uh, the first day will be justice and imagination. And this day is couched in questions around judgment and imagination and governmentality and, and, and arguments around what does it mean to be alive, how to communicate, what happens with neural networks, does that impact on political environments. So that's the first thing to think about. The second day is uh, magic and chaos. Now magic we're thinking about the form of alchemy. We're thinking about the way in which um, this notion of, of different forms of thinking ha impacted on the world and why that creates an openness, which may or may not lead to chaos. But whatever it does, we're trying to sort this out in terms of a very specific way of thinking. I hope I'm my screen is going in and out, so I apologize for that. Um, the, the next day, the third day, is on contagion and stickiness. The, the energies that happen in an encounter. The next one is nesting and anamorphism. And this was a concept that came from Simon O'Sullivan and from the Plastic Fantastic group. They were unfortunately not able to make it today, which was, um, which was totally understandable. But I just wanted to pay tribute to Simon O'Sullivan in particular for coming up with this nesting anamorphism and David Burroughs and Simon for Plastic Fantastic and the, and the group that has spearheaded a lot of avant-garde work in this area. The next group is Amnesia Surveillance. Now this is about forms of memory and how the materiality of memory lays down certain cartographies, certain pathways. And this is, this is, uh, it, it has a very odd sense of smell and tactility and, and fears. And so I want, I'm hoping that people can think about this. Then we move into the kitchen and the annex, the kitchen annex. And the kitchen annex is where most revolutions have happened that go against the natural order, that go against the order that said that it could never be this way. And this is, so we, we pay tribute to the kitchen. We pay tribute to the annex. And the last one is called Secondhand Time, which um, a lot of you may have already experienced in so many different ways, where it's not just deja vu, but it's an eternal return of, of a process, eternal return of thinking and rigor and curiosity. So what we're trying to get to return is the way in which 
this experimentation, this erotic sensuality, this question of the logic that one wears as skin and as blood and as energy, how that manifests itself in the age of artificial intelligence and online computing and what we're doing today in the Zoomiverse. I would also like to just say briefly, I would like to just name the artists that are involved so you have a sense of who you're listening to and the way in which we came up with the backgrounds. These backgrounds are from medieval text that we then um, uh, reversed into some sort of mad green environment. And the different texts, um, the different days uh, have this different uh, way, this sort of moniker. So if you see a globe, for example, that's the stickiness contagion or the two headed monsters. This is about um, the role of uh, the myth and the way in which myth and chaos operates. Or if you see the kind of animal that looks like it has a helmet with a, with a, with a kind of bird head coming out of the mouth or the orifice and a, and a kind of beaver tail, this is nesting and anamorphism. If you see the uh, mad devil who also looks like they're having a squat, this is amnesia, this is surveillance. If you see the way in which the two-headed uh, creatures are working, again, with the uh, vagina monkey head coming out, this was the myth alchemy. We have also um, the, the dog being pulled by the hair. This was part of uh, imagination and justice. And we have um, the kitchen, which is the, uh, it looks like a monkey drinking uh, different environments. I hope that was right. Maybe that's secondhand time. I've now lost my mind. I apologize. Um, and I just want to mention the artists now involved. Uh, the first person who will be speaking is the Countess. Uh, she may or may not introduce herself in some other form, but she is the Countess. And everybody here has a form of an avatar that they're playing with. And the Countess will be our person that starts to bring in the question of justice and imagination and how one deals with these, these odd forms of, of, um, of civility and rage and, and governmentality. After that will be, will be Margarete Jarman, who, um, whose avatar is Neuromatic Game Art. And she will be, well, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, you just listen to what these people have to say. I will more or less intervene every now and then uh, Daniel Rubenstein will be coming in after him. Then we'll have a tiny question and answer with uh, Greed's uh, amazing soundtracks that we'll, we'll sort of couch each day. After the first day, we'll have some question and answers, and then we'll move into the two days. We'll have more question and answers, two more days, question and answers, two last days, question and answers. At any time, you might want to take a note of what's happening in the chat because there are some little monsters that, that are gonna be going in through there. And please, whatever um, you would like to say, question, throw your questions in the question panel and we will then uh, know what's happening. If you can't get on, if somehow you get thrown out, try and let me know because um, I'm trying to do this. At the moment, my, my, my name on the, on the front right now is Johnny Golding. Professor of Philosophy and Fine Art, as you all know, but I will s suddenly change into Maiden Peckham. That's going to be my avatar. And then later on, I'll change into another avatar and so on and so forth. So you'll see, I'll be Angela Davis later. And finally, I will be Socrates. Those are my avatars. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to the Countess.